Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Waiting for it to go live. I am. I am always crooked on this phone. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Are you going to sing to us now? I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I'm moving the camera, so I'm hoping that's not making you guys throw up. I don't know why it won't stay. All right. So, say hello. Tell us where you're from. Say hello to my little friends. <laughs> I see Jackie. Jackie I see Kathy Kathy. Walton. Hello. There's two jeans, one from Iowa and, and one, one from, from North, North Dakota. Dakota. Uh, did I get your message? I did not get your message, Kathy. Um, but it puts me on, if I'm on Piccadilly Stampin', it's a whole other thing than my regular one. So I'll look when I get done from here. There is Cindy and Kristen and Nick from Ireland and Marsha. So thanks for sharing, Cindy. Oh, it was for Jean? Okay. Wrong Jean, <laughs> wrong person. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. Um, hi, sharing? Michelle. Hi, Kristen. Thank you for those who are sharing. Um, hello, Jill. Hi, Laura. Okay, so um, I'm going to be really honest up front right at the beginning. I'm a little nervous on this demonstration. I, I debated to back out on it, honestly, but we're going to go with it. And you guys were very positive and supportive of me on my Facebook wall. So I do appreciate that. But um, what... Cross. Woo, woo. Uh oh, Bill's making a reference to the is it a rock group or a <laughs> hip hop or something, or something. um anyway i'm not familiar but it crisscross he's teasing because of this card that we're making so um we would love it if you would like comment share um and if you're watching this later on youtube just click the little bell for subscribe that's right ding, ding. um so I'm trying to get away from blogging and Pinterest and all of that stuff. I am currently on those platforms, but um, I am trying to get away from that. And I'm going to be going to just emails. So if you would like measurements to any of my cards, be sure to subscribe to my emails to get those. And I'll post that later. Bill's going to post that at the end of the um, demonstration tonight. But where do you sign up for that? It's piccadillystampin.blogspot.com. So let's get going. They're saying you're going to do fine. I hope I do fine. <laughs> I've made a few of these now, trying to make sure that I was, I was getting the measurements writing it's it's different making a card than it is teaching it and especially doing it live so but anyway let's just move on from that i do have one announcement not this friday i'll be coming this friday with a parfait but the following friday i'm taking that friday off and um i will not be doing a parfait next friday so okay anyway these are the cards that we made last week Super, super cute. It's very easy to make. I love it. Um, but it, it's a great way to use DSP up if you've got DSP that's burning a hole in your pocket. This is the way to do it. So should we start off with the drawing? Yeah, let's do it. A lot of shares last week. There was, a, there was a, yeah, that was just on Facebook. There oh. were shares. I know. This wow. thing is packed. And I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. <laughs> For Sharon. So Bill likes to draw. One and two. Okay. So he draws for us. Who do we have? Debbie Lyons. Debbie. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I will get this in the mail. I know your address. And Tater. <laughs> Tater shared. 
All right, Tater, thanks for sharing. We appreciate that, and I will get this in the mail for you. So, awesome. Mm -hmm. Let me put these behind me here. We have been doing some major amounts of cleaning here in the... Getting ready for the new catalog. Yes, getting ready for the new catalog to go live. And so we have taken a bunch of retired ribbon embellishments, um, except for my one favorite that I will be using again tonight. And they're not retired quite yet, but they will be at the end of the month. The end colors from last year, stamp sets, dies. What else did we clean out? We just cleaned oh, out a everything. bunch of stuff getting ready for the new catalog. Um, the new catalog is a little bit different than uh, previous catalogs. It's set up completely different and it has kind of a different intended purpose. So I'm not allowed to show the catalog live on um, social media until after the catalog goes live. So coming in May, and I will get a date probably in the beginning part of May, I'm gonna do a catalog walkthrough. I'm gonna explain some things in this catalog because there's a lot of uh, real misinformation out there and I feel like it's very important for me to explain it to you this year it is a good catalog it's different than what we're used to so um okay that's all I'm going to say about that other than if you don't have a demonstrator and you need one of these catalogs send me a message here and I will be more than happy if you're not working with anyone else to send you a catalog all right let's get moving so the set that I'm going to use is called Everyday Details. So this has um, kind of a, oops, there's one set of dies and here's the other set. So they're really actually kind of fun. Um, they layer up, which is nice. They have these little circles inside of circles, so you know I'm going to love that. And then there's a bunch of these detail things that you can actually punch out of your cardstock with the dies. And then it has this really cute stamp set. So tonight I want to use the nest. I think the nest is super stinking cute. Most of you know that I like animals and birds and stuff, so this is right up my alley. And then we're going to use this um, You Make Every Day a Little Brighter. I love sending sweet cards like that so um to brighten people's day so let's get started with this and we will be using the largest of the circle dies in this set the largest the largest yep the largest, the largest. okay no so no ombre bill <laughs> you goofy <laughs> all right so we've got a ways to go with this um there is quite a bit that we need to do with this card and the best way that I think that I can explain it is just to start doing what I do so I just have a scrap piece this is an eight and a half by eleven and it was cut in half at um, five and a half so it's still eight and a half long you don't need it quite that long but it's what I had on hand so I grabbed it and I'm gonna start cutting off um, some uh lattice crisscross yeah but um Sheets. one no strips. <laughs> yes strips you're confusing me uh, one I felt like one I half on, that's I, what i was getting at one half i couldn't get it one I'm, half inch strips i felt like i was on uh password i, I know saying, i was looking at him like what what, what, what what am what, i doing what, what am i doing yeah one half inch strips and we're gonna cut several of these um six actually so while i'm cutting this do you have anything that you want to well there is that great deal you got going on for your oh yeah that buy the paper share paper shares yeah yeah paper shares are coming up yeah the it's new catalogs coming up so i've got a, a I, paper I, share i foresee some Paper being spread out across the counter. And <laughs> it's because he helps me. So he, and actually, he's kind of proud of the work that he does with me. Um, getting better at it. You are getting better at it. So he helps 
like pack them and sort them and all that stuff. So That's it's right. kind of fun. Cut, pack, sort. I don't but cut. She does the cutting. I do the cutting? Okay. Yeah, I don't so what cut. do we got here? We got six. Oh, good. I can stop. I thought you were going to tell that joke to Kathy. Oh, hey, Kathy. What do you call cows in Alaska? We'll see if she knows. You'll have to watch and tell me what she knows. So we're going to be using a lot of tools this time. We're going to have die cuts. We're going to, you're going to need a bone folder. You're going to need snips. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need the take your pick tool. You're going to need, what else do they need? Oh, right here. Some okay. tape. Yeah. A now, piece of material. Right. You can use washi tape. This is artist tape. Kathy wants me to tell her. Tell her. Yeah. Okay. Say it again. Okay. What do you call cows in Alaska? What do you cow call cows in Alaska? I lived in Alaska. I don't know the answer. Cold? Frozen milk? Frozen milk. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? They're called... Eskimos. Oh, you were saving that for her, weren't you? Okay, so what I was saying was, is you're going to need some frozen. sort, some sort, yeah, frozen. Um, you're going to need some sort of tape. This is artist tape. I got it because I thought this would be the best thing ever. And it's expensive. You can use painter's tape, washi tape that you have. Um, you don't need this. So, but you will need some. So what I'm going to do, wait till the 2025 calendar, mm. is I'm going to pull off a piece and we want to, it's tacky, it's very tacky and I don't want to rip that paper. So I'm just going to go across my uh, pants here. You guys can't see it on camera, but I'm in comfy yoga pants. So then I get some of those little fibers to kind of like make it so it's not as sticky. I may need to go a couple more times. So, okay, I'm going to stick that there because you're going to need some artist tape. Then I'm going to do the same thing with just one little piece of it. So, what? what are you putting it? Well, oh, on off, my off screen. Yeah, on my pants. Okay. I'm just getting that kind yeah, of lint. On, my, on mine, my, my hairy legs would. That's right. He do, he's wearing shorts right now. It's going to be like up to 80 this weekend. I'm so excited. Okay. So then I have a piece of basic white. And this is cut at, yeah, four by five and a quarter. Just making sure before I do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some stamp and seal. I love our stamp and seal a lot. And you're going to need the silicone mat, too. So I'm going to just run across. Well, i got to get it going. Run across the top. Well, i got to get it going. Jeez Louise. There we go. So it's right across the top, right there. Now, the great thing about the, the silicone mat is that you can stick it to it. I can stick it to it. Now, it does stick to it, but it comes right off. So that's why you want to do it on the so you silicone can cut mat. It or whatever and move stuff around on it. Right. Now this is going to hold it in place and I am going to take my uh, ruler here and a pencil and we're going to measure off oh about an inch and a half on each side. Just put a little tick mark. And then you can do about two and an eighth at the top and a little tick mark. We're going to erase those later, but we need those there for right now. Then we're going to take our strips and we're going to lay our strips. So I want this corner and this tick mark, the opposite tick mark of that corner, to kind of line up on the outside. This will be the inside. I'm calling this the inside and this the outside of my strip. So the outside and that to kind of line up just like that. It's not the opposite side? Okay, opposite side. But what I meant is on this strip. Okay. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Uh-huh. You're out for me tonight, aren't you? That's right. Because you know I'm nervous. 
<laughs> oh, I'm just trying to make you relax. Breathe deep. <laughs> then, is that what you're doing? I'm breathing deep for you. What is that from the movie, that Fuj Baba or whatever, remember? <laughs> then we're going to come over here to this corner. Anger management. Anger management, yeah. <laughs> and Fuj Baba or whatever. <laughs> that was so funny. And we're just going to line these up. And I may have this angle just a little steep, but I don't care. Um, each one of these turn out a little bit different. Trust me, I've made a bunch today. I have threw away a few, but I wanted to make sure I could kind of teach it. And this was the way that was easiest for me. So don't mind that it goes off the edge here. Just get them so that they're kind of about the same. Because we're going to crisscross it this way, okay? But to start off, we're going to take this piece of tape that That's I have... my reference. Crisscross, yes. Hence his... You want the credit for that, don't you? You think you're funny. So we're just going to put this right on top. Now, don't worry about it being so perfect because that's what I was trying to do. I spent today worrying, trying to get this perfect to explain it to you. But then I have to tell myself what I tell you guys all the time is this is a handmade card. It's not meant to be perfect. All right. So then we're going to take the bone folder and without touching the... the um, glue, the adhesive on there, is we're just going to come through and we're just going to put a slight crease following the edge. And then we're going to fold it down. So this is probably a little bit more complicated than some of the cards that I make but it's actually simple when you see this okay now while it's in this position you'll need your trash bin look at all the adhesive over the years maybe I should clean that off that's just we're gonna today. just cut some of this off that's just from today Bill you're funny are you teasing me right now <laughs> okay then when you flip well, it over who told you to leave me alone? Nick. Nick did. <laughs> She's just standing up for me, that's all. Okay, so now we've got that down. And then while I still have this in position here, I'm just going to go ahead and rub that over. Now, very carefully peel this back kind of at an angle and hold each one of these down. I think that makes a difference. So really I haven't done anything super complicated because you guys know I don't do complicated. It's just kind of time consuming. So these are not something that you're gonna make for. You do simple cards more. I know, I don't do complicated, that's what I said. All right, now we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. But first, we're going to raise this up like that. Look at that. I've got a little hairy <laughs> top of my card. Okay, coming from this corner to this, like so. Then we're going to use our tape again. Almost looked like Wilson there. <laughs> you mean from the movie? From the movie. With the, I was going to say tennis volleyball. ball. Volleyball, that's it. Yeah, Wilson. Oh, poor Wilson. Now, hopefully I have this. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I've got these kind of lined up again. We're going to do the exact same thing. Hopefully I don't move those too much. Go right over it. And let's get this bone folder. It just makes it easier to get a crisper crease if you have the bone folder. You, you could just fold it over, but it does it does make it easier. You could use your pick your take my pick tool. Yep, you could use your take your pick tool. You're my take your pick tool. For those of you on here, I I I I kind of um, invited a lot of people tonight, and that was because I think this is a neat card, and I think some of you would enjoy making it but for those of you who are friends definitely check out the picture on facebook friends on facebook check out the picture i posted of me and bill as children 
1974 or something. Is that what yeah, you said? Four or five, yeah. Yeah. Love it. And then, for those of you who know my mother, give her crap for that little dress she has me in. Although I'm sure it was all of the fashion, that little frock. It's a crispy crease. Yeah, do that crease down again. Okay. Donuts. Crispy crease. Crispy crease donuts. Is that what you're saying? So, slowly, from an angle, pull that off. Okay. And we'll push the hair up this way, how they crisscross. Okay, now, whew, now we still have this on the mat. There's still sticky stuff in between here, but don't worry about it because we're going to be sticking this down. So now that we have this down on the mat, we're going to do a little bit of, <clears throat> you do not have to do this part. It makes my life easier, so I do it. Um, but we're going to take some glue dots here. And we are going to just hold these down. Okay, so I came down this way first, this way second, so I'll go back this way, which is over. So we're going to do an over and under. Like This is just like the lattice cards you've seen, only they crisscross. And they're going to be, it's a little different. Okay, so now this one went over the first time. So we're going to go under and over this time. So I'm not going to do that when they're starting to hold. I don't need to do all those. Now this one went over last time. So we're going to go under and over. Now this one I'm probably going to do. I'm going to hold this one down. So it makes this kind of crisscross lattice. And a bunch of people checked out our pictures. Did they? <laughs> cuties. I'll tell you what, we would have never thought we would have found each other, but we're so glad we did. So that was at Mercerville Elementary School. Yours was? Yep. Mercerville, New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey. Yeah. Bill's an East Coast baby. He was born on the East Coast. Okay. So now that you have that, take your tape again. We're going to tape this down again one more time. I think it makes it easier. Bring your snips back out. Hold on, my little charm is in my way. There we go. And flip it. So the first thing is to just cut this off right along here. And I've got my hand kind of holding it at the bottom so that I know that I'm getting it. I must have some glue or sticky. Do you know the best way to clean these? Well, alcohol is really a good way, but these... Jack, Jack Daniels, tequila. Not that kind of alcohol, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, if you have an alcohol swab is what I meant. <laughs> this really is. What did Jackie call it a um, couple of weeks ago? Whiskey Wednesday Whiskey or something. Yep. No, I meant an alcohol swab. But if you use those um, those uh, adhesive erasers, it works very well. Also, okay. And when you get Jack here, wine. wine. Are you watching us with a with a glass of wine? With a drink in the hand. You may have to tonight because it seems like Bill's just a little bit fired up. <laughs> so then we're just gonna cut these down. Okay. Now, we're going to leave this like this for a while here and go on to the next part. Whew. I tell you what, Bill, I can't take you anywhere. So, I have a scrap piece of uh, basic white. And I'm going to take some memento ink. At least you're funny. I'm Not hoping sure. these people know. You're funny. He doesn't drink, do you? Not really. Not anymore. No, not anymore. Just came in. 
Beth Ann just joined us and was listening to the comment about alcohol. Oh, Beth Ann, honestly, we don't drink. <laughs> That's how you clean your steps. <laughs> I was saying to use an alcohol swab, but I didn't say swab, and so Bill took it and ran because right. he's leave the door open. I'm going through. <laughs> so I stamped that image, and then while I'm here, I'm gonna stamp the um, sentiment. Let me make sure I got this the right side up. Oh, you crack me up sometimes. This group is such a friendly group. You guys, I just love it. All right. Now, let's see if I can do this. Okay. So, we'll set that aside. And I'm going to bring in some markers. And... Don't worry about being perfect here because we're going to be using a couple of punches and stuff tonight. So this is the light crumb cake and I'm just going to come in. I want you to notice I don't even color it all in. I'm surprised you didn't say Beth Ann from Philly. I'm beginning to think that's her name. Beth Ann from Philly. That's because well, that's what she... she said. Hi from Philadelphia. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> she announced herself. She knows the routine. Tell us where that's you're from. Right. We love it when we hear, especially when we hear about people from around the world. That is always so fun. I mean, um, we posted those pictures of the two of us. When we were kids tonight on Facebook, and we both looked at each other and said, glad we didn't grow up in a Facebook generation. You know, we did <laughs> stupid stuff as kids. So then this is the light. But we didn't take pictures of it, so there's no proof. That's right. Well, there wasn't, there wasn't phones with cameras on them back then. Heck, we had a 110 camera. Crank, crank. Remember that? <laughs> and the square cube on top for the light for there the you go yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's right oh i don't think my daughter's known life without a microwave like actually having to cook on the stove i remember going for to, popcorn when microwaves came out they were huge they were just big box on the counter <laughs> yeah they took up the whole counter they actually had a cart okay this is a pool party yeah, they did have microwave carts. Yeah, that's funny that you even say that. So this is the dark, and then I'm going to come in with the light. You just kind of, we were happening to stumble upon some stuff. Bill has found some things recently that we've been unpacking down in the basement and some of it is his grandmother's china which was gorgeous and um so now i want a china cabinet and i don't know where we'll put it in this place we don't no, have any room, room for it. and it doesn't match my kitchen now that i went blue it's green but i i'm so in love with this china so i'm gonna use the two and three eighths inch circle punch this is an online exclusive and i know it's gonna cut some of it off that's okay. That's okay. Okay. And then I'm going to use the bow punch. So this punch came back or came out a couple of years ago, I think. I'm yeah, so two glad. Two catalogs ago. Yeah. And so we're just going to cut a few. A few bows. <laughs> a few bows. A few of these out. Let's do three. How about three? I love this punch. For those of you who are punch lovers, I love my punches. So, all right. Let's bring this back. We're getting close to getting this done. I was kind of nervous, but it's actually gone better. Oh, I hope I didn't just... 
Phil, bring me your head. I need to knock on wood. <laughs> Ow. I hope I didn't just... So let's add a few. I'm just going to do some seal on here. And we're going to throw a few of these back here. You're having a good time over there. I hear you giggling. Oh, yeah. Gene Shoot's son turns 50 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome to the club. Okay. <laughs> oh. Mine will turn 35 this year, and I am, I can't even believe it. Okay, it still has sticky on it, so I'm using the silicone mat. Let's bring this out. And now that this is dry, even though I have a little bitty goober on there, that's okay. We're going to bring out our take your pick tool again and some. You do not have to do this. You could do whatever you want, but I don't want to make a mistake and do liquid glue. So we're going to do this on camera. So while that is glued down into place, <clears throat> I am going to put just down here at the bottom some uh, glue dots. Well, somebody got carried away at Aldi's and made chocolate wine. Chocolate wine? That's what they said. They got chocolate wine from Aldi's. I've never even heard of such a thing. No, but... Is it good? Must be, because a bunch of people like it. <laughs> really? Huh. Huh. I don't like wine to begin with. I know everyone gets crazy when I say that, but I just, I don't like it. Everyone's like, oh, you've not had the good kind. Yeah, I've had, I've tried about every kind there is. I don't like it, period. So I'm just going to go to the bottom of this. And now this is going to hold those ends together. And you pretty much, once you commit to it, it's on. On like Donkey Kong. So now we can do the last time, and then I'll show you this. Oh, we, take it off the adhesive. I know. So I can get rid of my adhesive here. And now I've got kind of a crisscross lattice, right? Woohoo! Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's fun, Beautiful. right? So I have a card base that's just cut at... um four and a quarter by five and a half and we're just going to go ahead and glue this on now how many people nobody really writes up here so it's okay to have that trimmed back and bumpy because you know you can write down just a little bit farther but i'm going to go ahead and put some uh, adhesive on that to kind of hold that in place And then, now everybody who shares my video this week, what happens, Bill? They get oh, their name put in. They get their name in the drawing. And they could win one of them. Win one of these cards, correct. I have That's several. Right. I have several of them. <laughs> okay, now, once we have that done, let's go back up here and take an eraser. Let's take our little tick marks off. down here and our little tick mark up here at the top there we go so we've got beautiful lattice there now you can do again and I would suggest because it's a heck of a lot less expensive but because I'm live and I do not want to have an accident on live I am going to use glue dots again but I would say use the green glue. I can do it, right? Can I do it? We'll see if this is disastrous or not. So I have from the die cut that comes with the bundle, the largest of the circles. It cuts out this really fun circle. So we're going to adhere it down. I can do it. I won't make a mistake, will I? Nope. Are you sure? And we're going to come it right... It is live, so... I know. Have I screwed up yet? I don't know. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I'm going to take some of our linen thread. I love our linen thread. I should use it more. 
but when it comes like this, sometimes it's frustrating to me. And I find if you just take it on the edge of your table and, and kind of run it back and forth, you don't get... Well, you're off camera there, but okay. Okay, I'm off camera, but I'm just rubbing it on the edge of the table. It takes some of that curly out of it, so just a little tip. Now, I, I like a lot of... I better do this first. What? People were shouting, you can do it! <laughs> so, I'm going to use seal again. It's my favorite way to hook any kind of ribbon, twine, thread. I love it. So, I'm going to put kind of all over here, not out to the edges, but kind of all over some of that. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm. this is a very big circle. As you can see, it takes up most of this. So I'm going to just kind of even open up my pinky finger there and we're going to wrap this one, two, three times. Told you you'd use a lot of, a lot of, and I think this tip is really good um, to get some of that curly out and I'll show you why in a moment. Then I can kind of fan it out when I get this hooked down the way that I want like so just kind of basic so if i were to try to do this let me try this with this curly stuff when you go even when you do it like this and you come back <laughs> that's what you get you get a knot so try to straighten it out a little bit then we'll take some dimensionals here dimensionals don't stick good on ribbon and they don't stick good on uh so on um, linen thread, I just don't have any luck. So try to place your dimensionals kind of around what you're going to be doing. Three will be enough to hold this, especially since I have that other adhesive on here. So we're just going to put this right on top. A whole bunch of people are going to try this. Are you going to try it? I hope I explained it easy enough and didn't... And then, okay, I love these things. So I'm definitely going to be using them because look at it. It just goes so perfect on here. I need my take your pick tool. Let's do, let's do one here and one here. And let's see, these are the smaller ones. Let's get some smaller ones on here somewhere. Um... Very cool card. Hey. Are you reading me comments? That's so nice of you. I'm going to use the blue. It looks like a super fun card. So they say do odd numbers. So maybe I'll do it here. I like that. So there's five. Nine's a... Nine. <laughs> Bill Rapid. says nine's an odd number. <laughs> oh my gosh. One. One. One is an odd number. Yes. Okay. So, here it is. I know this took a little time tonight, and I hope, I'm hope i so thankful that you guys were patient with me to watch this crisscross card. It's just another way of doing the lattice cards or the gate cards that you've seen, but it's just really stinking cute, and I thought um, I would love to share it with you. It just isn't it, it's a little bit more detailed, so that's what I was worried about. Now, I have several of them. <laughs> I was making quite a few of these this um, because I was so scared I wasn't going to be able to explain it or to get it straight. And what I determined was is each one is different and beautiful in its own way. So um, it'll be well, just let's fun. Let's draw three next week. No. I worked hard. I want one. <laughs> All right. So share my video and you will get into next week's drawing. Well, so sharing it. Okay. So be sure to comment, like, subscribe, especially if you saw something that you liked. I like to know where you're from. If you want the measurements to this card, I do have an email that will be going out. Where do you sign up? www. Piccadilly. Stampin'. Piccadilly Stampin'. Blogspot.com. You're so cute. Piccadilly Stampin' dot blogspot dot com. That's what I got here. Okay. Post it. Okay. It's in, the, it's in the comments. Okay. So, 
Stampin' has up to 60% off. I don't know what's left. It's going on until the end of the month if you want to take advantage of that or if you want to get some things. For instance, if this is a set that you're interested in and you don't have, um, it is going to be carrying over, but it won't have that extra 10% off. So you'd want to get it. Get your bundle now. Get it now, yeah. Um, okay. I have a promotion going on, and I'm excited to show you about this. That's right. This is a so for great offer. Every hundred dollars before tax and shipping, using my current host code, and this is a new host code, um, you can earn a free storage travel caddy while supplies last. So I kind of showed this. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets. There is a just a big chamber in here, and then this, you know, flattens down. So it would be great for storing your stuff, traveling if you go someplace. I mean, you can fit like a paper pumpkin in it and just have everything ready to go um, for you your, your mini boss in there. And these are while supplies last, and it's only until the 16th. So the 9th through the 16th. Now... To make it a little bit sweeter, I added extra. For the first 10 people, and I haven't gotten there yet, who order 150, although there's some of you, you know who you are, who have taken advantage of that, you not only are going to get that bag, but you're going to get instant Stampin' Up! host rewards. Those are right away, so when you order, you'll get free product credit from them. You'll get my perks rewards, that's only through me, the artist bag, for organization again that's only through me plus 12 pieces five and a half by eight and a half which is the card base size 12 of them one of each color of the new in colors plus the new beige so that is going to be 12 card bases or um, of the new in color so you get to see that that's pretty cool I'm hoping my order is here tomorrow because those of you who have taken if it's not I'll hear about it <laughs> that's right he will but those of you who have taken advantage of this already I'd like to get that out to you ASAP now the other thing Bill was talking about our annual paper share that's so right. a paper share is um, has a lot of benefits you get one quarter of the cost of all the new papers now this one's a little bit bigger because it's out of the annual catalog so you'll get um, a quarter of it and you pay a quarter of the cost. It was one quarter of the storage space used up in your house. You get to sample all the new designer series paper. Three quarters less waste. That's right, that's on here. It gives you lots of creative options. That's right, you um, can make a lot of different cards that way. That's right. Stampin' Up! papers are double-sided, so if you don't like one, flip it over. There's another print on the other side. It's easy to chop up pretty paper when it comes in smaller sizes. Now, mine come in 12 by 6 inch instead of 6 by 6, which gives a little bit more versati versatility if you're doing, like, uh, four by five and a quarter inch pieces for bases of cards. You can get three out of it instead of the regular two that you would get out of a six by six. Um, smaller sizes means less leftovers, like Bill was saying, and less leftovers means not feeling guilty when you want to buy more. The other thing is, I'm down to one. I have one stamp pack for any $80 order before tax and shipping using my current host code. I'll throw that in there too. Remember, we do have a bunch of online exclusives that are coming out or that are out right now, so be sure to look up those. But this stamp set for the card that we use tonight is actually in our mini catalog. It will be carrying over, but it will be not a bundle. Not a, at the bundle price. So if this is something you're interested in, let me know. Um, you can order just by clicking the button that says shop now at the top of my Facebook page that you're watching me. You put this host code in at the end of your order. Unless your order is over 150 or 150 or more, I should say, then don't put it in. I want you to get those host codes. You still get everything else. And then um, if you're watching me on, on YouTube, I will put a um, 
link to my uh, uh, online store in the description for you. Were there any questions, Bill? Um, you haven't showed the new DSP because you can't show the new DSP. Yeah, uh, I, I can but the show new it. DSP is in the paper share. It is in the paper share. If my order comes in tomorrow and I can get that inventory, I will be going live and showing it. I will be doing a parfait this Friday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Um, it's next Friday that I'm not going to have a parfait. So, anything else? No tater. It's not a cigar with your card. I just won the card. <laughs> you just won the card. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for coming and, and being patient with me. I do appreciate it. I'll get an email out within the next two days. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.